Okay, so I've had um, quite a few people either reach out to me or have experienced some kind of issue with this setup. Um, I'm running an interface. It's actually the um, Universal Audio Quad Thunderbolt interface. It says it's able to be used on a PC, but it is no easy task, and it took me quite a long time to figure it out and make it work. So I have the Z390A motherboard, and I have that Thunderbolt EX3 or whatever the hell it is, adapter for it. You got, obviously have to make sure that you have that Thunderbolt um, header on the motherboard. And then once you're in there, uh, there are some settings that you have to change. At this point, I honestly don't even remember all of them. So I have basically just taken different shots with my phone, but I figured instead I'd just make a quick video of how to do this. So I'm just gonna kinda go through all these screens right here. And anything that you want to stop at and pause and rewind to check out, feel free. This is definitely not needed. Here's the important one. One thing to notice here, um, I've had it working and then it stopped working randomly for one reason. I've had more luck on the third um, PCI slot, PCI Express slot. For whatever reason, I think the first one gave me a lot of problems. The third one seems to work fine. I haven't tried the fifth. So there was one time where things just stopped working and I troubleshot everything and could not figure it out. And nothing short of actually removing the card physically from that port and then reseating it, um, even though it was definitely seated correctly, just that process made it start working again. So if you're experiencing that, that might be your fix. Um, most of these uh, I got from either watching other videos, um, a little bit of trial and error, lots of troubleshooting phone calls, lots of really smart people um, helping me with it, and eventually this is the combination that worked. A lot of the stuff doesn't matter, but you may notice there's also some other stuff that I decided to do as well. You can actually tone down the overclock in these a little bit, um, so it makes it so all six cores are running stable, which is um, a lot of the stuff is right on Pro Tools website or whatever you're trying to configure it for. You can usually find really detailed information about it. There was something about USB. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but something about that USB bus needing to be constantly on so it doesn't change like a power setting in the middle of something. Um, some of them have like a sleep mode. I can't remember exactly, but. I think, uh, I think that's about it. Network stack. I don't think any of this is really important here at all. No. Yeah, same thing, this is just uh, with the hard disk. And I think there was some stuff where you can can again program things to either stay on or stay off so they don't make changes and can cause artifacts and all little hiccups and popping noises and all that fun shit. I think uh, this concludes our broadcast.
Hopefully this helps somebody. Let me know.